Now, at this point, I have to be honest, I didn't really think this was a very big crocodile. The eyes that I'd seen in the torchlight seemed to be quite close together. Okay. But as we brought it in right. closer, we found right out we caught one. our monster. Yeah. Whoa, he's a good size. Okay, back here to snap right there. It's time to roll. Here he comes. The croc's rolling. This is uh, part of the way it feeds. It's using clamping down those massive jaws and using its bulk to tear its prey apart. But it's also using that now to try and escape the noose. And you can feel the power of it. It's actually lifting the boat up and down. It's underneath us. It's underneath the boat. As if to prove a point, he tries to eat the boat. Yeah. Hey, do you want to get the snout rope on? Yeah. yeah. Pretty good from there. OK, Charlie. Yep. Well Jam it shut. Good job. Push, push it. That's it. Oh. OK. Snout rope. Put two on him. OK, pull him up. Corner there. There's a knife on there. Trust me, the croc will be absolutely fine tied up here, although he is a bit cross. The important thing is that with his mouth taped up, he can't bite anyone. So this is the problem the croc we were hoping to find. They've actually been calling him Mr. Stinky because you can, you can smell him. Um, he's not in amazingly good condition. He has been hanging out in an area where there are quite a lot of people and um, sort of picking up scraps. And a croc this size could certainly do an awful lot of damage. This croc's probably too big to get up onto the boat, so I think we're going to drag him back to the ramp and get him up onto, onto dry land, um, suss out his condition, and uh, then I'll work out a plan about what we're going to do with this monster. A crocodile that's playing dead takes quite some shifting. Right, so now that he's out of the water, even though he has had his major weapon and his jaws kind of taken out of the equation with that hard sticky tape. You can really appreciate quite what it is that makes this such an incredibly powerful animal. I mean, look at the size of the tail down there next to Mark the cameraman. I mean, that is just packed with muscle. And all the way up here, there's nothing spare, even though this animal really isn't in the best of condition. You know, it really is a terrifying looking creature. He's absolutely magnificent, as close to a living dragon as you'll ever get. When you've got the animal here, you can see why it is that this croc could become a potential danger. I mean, he's been in a fair few fights with uh, some other larger crocs. Some of his feet are a bit mangled, he's got some nasty scarring here, and he's looking a bit thin, really. Um, obviously not a croc in absolute peak condition, and that's why He's turned from his usual prey of fish, which obviously swims quite fast, to, uh, to kind of picking up scraps and getting too close to people. And it's not that much of a leap from where he is now to actually taking a person. So he's going to be taken now and probably live out the rest of his days very happy in captivity. But the size, the strength of this animal here is just the tip of the iceberg. And that's why the saltwater croc has to go on a deadly 60.